Hello everyone, welcome to yet another uh, well guide gameplay video, however you want to call it. This one is going to be about Uder, uh, since you know he's pretty popular right now. You see him a lot. Uh, you see him being played a lot uh, on stage, right, in pro play. I think uh, for solo queue, this champion is actually pretty good as well, so I don't see any reason why not to record it, I guess. Again, if you have any suggestions or champions you'd like to see in the future videos, please make sure to leave the comment down below or just like a comment that mentioned the, the, your champions so that I can maybe try to record something like that. I was thinking about playing AP Shaco at some point, maybe next video, besides uh, stream highlights, of course, that we do daily as well, uh, or, well, weekly or maybe twice a week. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I was thinking about banning Kazik because I do think that Kazik is not necessarily good into Uder, just Kazik a champion that... Uh, can't scrimmage against Uder, but there's a lot of champions that can't do that uh, since you know Uder has a very powerful early game uh, and he farms uh, very fast. Of course Uder got nerfed in the most recent patch which I believe was 11.3. Uh, I don't think it made him weak though. So for the runes we go Face Ash, Nimbus Cloak, Celerity, Water Walking, so the most standard Uder page. Uh, we, thanks to that you are very fast, you are very mobile. Uh, it's very easy to proc face rush, all you have to do is literally auto someone and then uh, auto him with Phoenix, you proc face rush. Even without auto him with autoing him with Phoenix, you can still proc face rush with the Phoenix aura you have when you use the ability. That's slightly harder though. Um, and then as for the second page, so this is a little bit tricky. I think you should always go precision. And now the question is if you want attack speed or tenacity. I do prefer uh, running the tenacity page since I think that's more useful in, uh, you know, more cases, right? When you play with attack speed, it's only good for clear, maybe for skirmishes, but tenacity is pretty much always good. And then if you go tabbies, you don't lose on that, uh, on the fact that you don't have any tenacity. So I pretty much always go tenacity. I know that there are some other players that also go conquer other page. So you do conquer and you do, for example, resolve, uh, then you don't really get the phasers, you don't get Nimbus, Stroke, Serrated, Water, Walking, but you still do get tenacity. You still get the conquer part. Uh, you get a little bit tankier with resolve. Uh, why I don't play it is because I go full tank with it. I do the uh, camp tank into basically building full tank. Uh, that's why I don't really like it. If I were to play Trinity Force Uder, uh, I think maybe then I could go for a Conquer Uder and then try to be just strong in skirmishes. Attack speed, AD and armor. This is, uh, I leave this up to you. I mean this one, right? You can play with armor. Magic is your HP. Uh, it's completely up to you. There is uh, no problem. When it comes to our draft, we kind of like AP damage. So I don't really know how the game will go, if we can win or not. But that shouldn't really affect my champion much. Uh, I can still hopefully teach you the champ very well. So I will see you in game very shortly. And welcome to the game. We go blue smite, we go refillable potion, so the standard start. Again, I'm not aiming for skirmishes, that's why the blue smite. I want to make sure that my team can play the game, I want to be the front line, I want to go in first. Um, I don't really wanna, you know, kill, okay, well, if I, if I get to kill everyone, I will kill everyone, but if I don't have to kill everyone, I can, you know, might, might as well just uh, play the game in supportive way. So first of all, you use your Q very early, uh, so that you get your third auto proc uh, on the tiger stance. So that when you auto a minion or, I mean, if you auto a monster or if you auto anything, really, uh, you will uh, instantly proc uh, the passive and then you can use Q again, right, because of cooldown. Uh, that's why you use it early. Why do you even take Q? Because we will be maxing um, R. We will be maxing Phoenix, Phoenix stance, which is, you know, the best for tanking. Why do you even take Q? Is because uh, it does give you better clear. It does give you more attack speed. Uh, as you can see, when you activate it for five seconds, you get more attack speed. Then you can activate uh, R um, and uh, it just uh, kind of farms slightly faster. Um, and also it just helps you, yeah, basically it helps you to clear. You do, we, we will not put any points into it later on. We will most likely max Q, uh, you know, get R, get E, W at level, I believe, 7 or 8, I think. At level 8, I think we get W. But we are not going to really put a lot of points in Q um, after the early game. We'll probably just not even max it, right? We'll max Phoenix into uh, Bear unless we need tankiness than Turtle. Between Bear and Turtle, it's you kind of choose. So as you can see, first auto goes through. We want to make sure that we get the Tiger Stance proc before we change our form. So here we proc it. We can uh, use the form again. 
boom we procked it now we don't have to auto because this should die pretty easily to basically this we can proc um i instantly changed my form right because i didn't have any auto to wait through now we kite a bit now we change our form again you want to make sure that the monkey's agility stays on uh since that gives you a lot of uh, jungle clear right it's just the attack speed again boom proc it by the end make sure mon monkey agility doesn't go uh, off uh you want to mostly clear with your Fe phoenix stance um since you know that gives you like the best clear uh, the aoe Boom. So now we take R again, uh, and we don't really. Okay, maybe we can care about the the reset. I can't. I didn't want to reset my monkey's agility right there, which is not always great. Um, in that case, because there was no minions to auto right, but it's okay. As you can see, the Udre clear is very good. It's very fast. I also use my smite on raptors. You can kind of choose to use your smite elsewhere as well. I wouldn't recommend using it early though. I think if you want to use it, maybe like I used it. So basically uh, to clear raptors, I think that's probably the most valuable. If you want to use it in a different way, that's also fine. Udir is also, a like, excuse me for <laughs> talking so much, but I just want to explain the early game with the champion. Uh, Udir is also a good champion to start alone with. In this game, I had a good leash, which is very helpful. But I don't really require a leash on Uther. Now we take Tiger and we go to the Crab. I could chug a potion just in case uh, they fight for it, but we have bot lane priority, so I don't think they will. I will also maybe look for a mid gang right after, because as you can see, Uther is really good at punishing people that push, and the Syndra, I believe, is warding the top side. So again, proc the mon monkey agility. Look at my man speed, it's very, very high right now. And we are running again. So I think here I can actually flash. Uh, we are not gonna get a kill, we will just trade flashes. Kazik, uh, I think. Wait, did he do crab? I'm not so sure. Okay, he did crab, so I think we can just base. I could also just do the gram right now. I don't have to base. I think the fact that I procked her flash though, it's 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 a, it's a good trade in my opinion. We buy shoes, we buy a potion, we buy even uh, red lens. That's up to you again. You don't have to buy red lens. I assume Kazik is doing cracks right now. Mm, this is a little bit tricky. I mean, again, it's solo queue, right? You can't really expect your teams to, to your team always to do well in solo queue. But the fact that you know we, we should basically not die in this matchup. But as he mentioned, he probably just got a lag. Um, and then we clear again, and it's just that simple. By the way, the gank mid was kind of forced very hard. So if you don't want to gank mid in that case and just like instantly base after crap, that's perfectly fine. You don't really have to gank. Uh, you know, I forced it very very badly there, knowing enemy jank could be around the corner and. Sana probably didn't even have a jump, uh, but I'm planning. I'm planning to come back to mid lane again because now that the Syndra, now that she doesn't have flash, uh, I think we can probably abuse it, right? So again, proc it once, proc it twice. If you can, it's really good to pull them together as well, so that you kind of auto all of them and not just one of them, uh, right? So you get like a big prog on every everything. I have to run there. I think I will just in case. Maybe I can, you know, maybe I can like do something useful here. Because it seems like Kazik is, you know, super hard committed, so. I can clean up the poppy, I think. I'm very fast. Well, not possible to kill the Kazik there. Even if Syndra comes, she can't really do anything, so um, I'm not really afraid of that. I think I can do Drake here because Kazik is dead. I think I can ask Morgana for help. He could base right now, but he doesn't have to base. Uh, as I can see, my bot lane is kind of winning lane as well, so they are getting a lot of gold. We can chug our potions here, just make sure they are running, you know. Uh, again, mostly we'll just activate between Tiger to, to Phoenix. We don't have Turtle and Bear is useless doing Drake, so we are just farming. Ud is really, really good at ganking, and he's a very... Tempo jungle. Tempo jungle means basically... Farm fast, reset fast, you, you do everything fast. No matter what you do on the map, you do it so fast that it's very hard for enemy jungle to keep up with you. So as you can see, this guy's level four uh, with 30 CS. I'm already at like almost 50 CS. Not every game is gonna be the same, right? Kazik uh, is one of the slower farmers in the early game, but I mean, all of the games will be like that. Just keep in mind that Udir is not a champion that deals high damage, or at least to squishes he does because his uh, phoenix does a lot of damage to squishes but for example if i were to gank darius and he is going tank which he is right i might get surprised he might just be able to live stream through my damage and then even turn it around uh, so i don't really want to do anything stupid and then on top of that i value 
shoes on Uder, quite a lot as well, because again, you without flash, you don't have any gap closers, right? Uder was never meta, because Uder is so easy to kite, and even if you play against stuff like Ash, uh, maybe against a Lucian mid lane, you know, there is may there is a lot of champions that will just mercilessly kite you, and they will like really not care that you're playing Uder. In this case, though, I don't think they have champions that I really care about. Um, I mean, you know, as long as I juke some skill shots, maybe I should be fine here. So, we could try to gank, but I think that that is may probably have a ward, yeah. That is very deep. I can maybe follow this because I'm an Uder. No, I cannot really. I mean, I can kind of... Like, I can kind of follow this, I guess. I'm very strong, right? I'm level 7. So, I'm very cocky, as you can see. I think they will both most likely base here. Uh, yeah, invade. Like, I should probably base right now. I think I have so much gold, I should probably look for a base. I actually, you know what? We can dive her. We can dive her because she doesn't have flash. Her flash is my flash. Keep in mind that if you force someone's flash, he will have flash at the same time as you. So, I think she Tristana went slightly deep. I mean, slightly early. Because, you know, I could tank the tower for her. She didn't have to tank the tower there. But it was very easy. Very easy execution. We know Kha'Zix is topside. We know Darius is topside. We know Syndra does have flash. She's already chunked, you know. Just look at the map. Make sure that you know what's going on. We could look at the bot lane a little bit more. Okay, it seems like my Malphite was in trouble, but he's fine. We want to probably make sure that we also secure the crab. I think the music is quite loud. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's like better now or not, but yeah, I thought it was quite loud. We got our smite, as you can see clearly. Uh, the smite is going to be very, very helpful when we chase people. I could also buy first item a chem tank. That will also be good. I don't feel like my bot lane really needs help, do they? Like, it, it, it doesn't feel like they do need help. So, second, I will max E, because I want more movement speed, and I want a longer movement speed in in case I have to chase someone. So, Bami Cinder is a good buy against their team. I think Tabis are a good buy as well. So, Magic Resist and Pink Words. I chose Tabis over Mercs in this game or over Swifties because, again, I'm playing with Tenacity. I don't think I'll need more Tenacity. And against, you know, Kazi, Kaisa, Darius, I think, and I, I, even against Poppy, I think these shoes uh, are a good buy. Again, we are a tempo jungle. We don't, you know, you don't have to overforce ganks on Uder. Then, okay, so the Uder gameplay is kind of tricky because you don't outscale a lot of junglers, but you farm much faster. So sometimes it is really good to abuse the fact that you farm faster and you, you know, focus on the farm. But sometimes it's really good to also gank because you are not necessarily weak in the, in the skirmishes. <laughs> it's tricky because, you know, you wanna do both, you don't wanna just one thing. Uh, but it, it is good to, to do a little bit of both. I think Kazik is actually somewhere here. I think he's taking uh, the cracks. Yeah, well, he's out. I don't, I, I actually, you know what? I don't think I win against him, to be completely honest with you. I mean, we force his ult, which is nice, and then we can do Herald for free, but as you can see, right, I don't I don't necessarily win against a Kha'Zix. I know Kha'Zix base, so even though Poppy is there, here, I don't really care, and I think I can just do the Herald. Because, you know, my Tristana is hitting tower. If we can counter jungle with Uder, it's also really good. For example, in this game, I think instead of taking my camps, I could have went to his jungle when, uh, you know... When I spotted him for the first time, it was really easy. Like, I, I could... Be, like, when I was doing cracks, when I was doing cracks, his raptors were spawning, and I could see it, I could see the hourglass on the minimap, right? The yellow hourglass. That means his raptors are spawning. And in that moment, I could have probably invaded it and gotten the raptors and maybe even his red buff, because at that moment I was also much stronger uh, than him. So another unsuccessful gang from enemy side. I think in this case we use Herald mid lane here. I know I use it early, but the thought process is that they will be forced to go mid. They will be forced to go mid now, and I kind of don't want to lose Drake. So if they are forced to go mid early, maybe, maybe they don't do Drake. I'm hoping they don't. I will not face check it. I will not go there. But I'm just hoping. Yeah, you see, Kazik is mid lane. They want to protect the Herald hit. I think we can actually fight this. Maybe I do have a lot of I, I do have a lot of gold. Also, like fighting is tricky. I guess just pushing it a little bit so that my friend, my Tristana, can push it harder. It's a friend because it's in the same team. It's not an actual friend. But it's still a friend. I don't mind. I can call him my friend. We are working together to win the game, right? <laughs> well, I mean, she's not inting. Sometimes in solo queue, your teammates are not always your friends because they work against you to win the game. But in this game, I think we are working together so far. 
Oh, uh, I'm playing it slow. You can see my damage is pretty crazy. You know, we didn't again. We didn't really get a kill, right? But we are here for a counter gank and wasting time. We can also control Drake. So this is the other thing with champions like Woodier. Even Olaf is very similar in that case. I think controlling objectives is really good with them, you know? We don't really want to give up the objectives, I can tell you that much. So we just make sure we get all the objectives for ourselves. So this is kind of how pro teams play Uder, right? You don't overforce, you don't go too deep, but you are very mindful of what's going on on the map. Now I have my chem tank. The next item will be Deadman Plate, so more armor, more movement speed. Afterwards, we can do Force of Nature, which also got buffed this part, so it's slightly stronger. Um, we might have some troubles with the AP damage, but... You know, I could do like a Leech Bane Uder game. Or a Nash or Tooth. Like, <laughs> these items are a bit troll, but they could work just if you want more damage, right? Not every game you want more damage, sometimes you do. Uder is very chill to play as well. Because you don't have to do much. You're just changing stances, running around. We get pressure, we will see Syndra. So why would I take this wave? Is because it allows me to see where opponents are. For example, I see Kaisa now being very deep, right? That means if I go to both sides, I know that Kaisa is not there. But Kaisa specific, she's very fast, so she could be there, but I mean... We got one. Now I use my chem tank. We got two. So I'm the tank right now as well. Um, you know, I make sure I tank the tower, so my team doesn't have to tank the tower. It's very easy, right? I mean, again... If you wanna solo carry with Uder... I do think... You can go like a Trinity Force build and go very offensive and high damage. But if you have any kind of human teammates, you don't really have to do that. And you can kind of just play this way, which is a frontline champion. Better slap everyone. Better slap everyone and run around. It's a very weird way to play the game, right? But it is good with Uther. Level 11. Highest level in game. Oh! What the hell? He's higher level than me? How? I mean, being same level as a solo laner is actually quite high. So I'm not uh, super mad. Also, I have high CS right after I take this camp. So at this point, uh, my stances have 5 seconds cooldown. If I get one more item, I'll be able to proc the same stance over and over again. If I want to get mind speed, which could be, for example, you know, over and over burst stance. I'm coming. I feel like the Darius doesn't even win against the Malphite. Look at me, I'm so fast. I mean, the poppy can die too. Only during the burst stance I'm fast. We let him tank this time. Stand one, kill the other. Double kill with the, with the stance change. Level 12, now the highest level in game, officially. I mean, okay, so this is tricky. If you are in this position and you really want to win the game, you should always secure the drakes because Dragon Soul is what people undervalue in solo queues sometimes. I mean, everyone would like to have a Dragon Soul, but you also have to play for it. You have to do the drakes, right? And in this case, by gank top lane, 30 seconds after I did, if the play would be slower, we lose the drake, right? Because we'll be on the opposite side of the map. So I... Still have time to base, I think. It's 30 seconds. So normally, if you play in a pro league and, you know, you want to fight for Drake, you have to be there like a minute before the fight, right? So right now, I will be there like... Or like minute before the Drake, you want to be there. Not before the fight, because when do you know when the fight starts? But minute before the Drake, you want to be there. Currently, I will be there 10 seconds before the Drake. So they have full control. Everything is black. I don't see anything. But I'm Uder, and I don't care about face checking. I'm very strong as well, and I can chase her because I'm OP. The problem is um, that no one is really following me, so... Can't really kill her. Chunked her well, but... I mean, our opponents are getting insanely, insanely... I will just use Herald and go do the thingy. They are getting insanely, insanely uh, made fun of. I'm not even sure what Kha'Zix is. I didn't see him in a while. I feel like maybe they have left. But yeah, basically, as you can see, I'm very fast and I'm very strong and... Again, damage, I have damage just because I'm high level and my values are high. Like, Udre got slightly nerfed on the pulsing waves of fire. Nice name. 
but his uh, breath is still same damage. So you still kind of do high base damage. You see, in this case, me going mid lane is kind of useless. I could probably just go topside and clear my camps and stay, you know, like three levels ahead even. Uh, so this is this is kind of useless to do. Uh, but since we are on a snowball the game faster, maybe we can do this, you know. I, I don't think it's very useful to siege. If you would play it slow, it could be better. That's pretty normal. Opponents are getting salty. <laughs> since I saw salty, it's crazy. Hey, don't be salty when you lose. I mean, sometimes you just lose, right? That's, that's the game. I did help Tristana a lot, so I'm not surprised that like there's some emotions. Emotions are speaking through Syndra being 0-6. I mean, you know, Tristana did a lot of help. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but I just want to keep my lead. I want to keep my lead, <laughs> so I smited away from her. <laughs> I just want to have like very high CS and look, 180 CS is almost, almost 10 CS per minute, which as a jungler is, uh, you know, very high. I could have more if I wouldn't go bot. I could be at 10 CS per minute if I would not go bot, but it's still very high, the highest in game. Highest CS in game currently. By the way, even though Uther is easy to play, because there is not a lot of me mechanics required, it's not that easy because it's very, sometimes when you don't pay attention, it's quite simple to become useless when you play the champion. You just run in, which, well, I guess you do on the champion. But then you die and you don't really know why and then you randomly become very useless and you can't do anything in the whole game. So don't go too deep on Udir, that's very important. And also you have to know your limits, right? You can't really go always too deep. Uh, or, you know, always forward. Sometimes when you play champion like Udir, it is better to stay uh, around your AD carry, for example, and make sure he can play the game, right? So you just better slap people that go on him, and that way you can also benefit. I could flash in on the Syndra, but again, like, we are a frontline champ, we don't want to go too deep, we don't have to. I don't really win to Kha'Zix, so I'll just run. That is a little bit problematic, the, that is. I'm fine, but Malphite might not be. We kind of lost this fight, actually. Mm, they cannot do Nash. There's no way they can do Nash, so this is okay. But yeah, we went slightly too deep. Um, okay, so in that kind of fights, when you lose, just keep in mind to not end. Like, there's no reason for me to die, so I just, you know, run. We take Drake first, we don't do Nash. You know why we don't do Nash? Because Nash... So Nash will, could look similar to what just happened, which is basically them running at us and us dying. I don't want that, I wanna avoid it. I think we just, uh, wait, sorry, was phone call? Wait, what? Morgana was not, the, no, I'm pretty sure she was with us because she was the one who got engaged on, right? But yeah, we secured the Drake, we win the game just because we have Ocean. She thinks she can run, but she really cannot run from me. I mean, that's fine, she will die to other people. We get Ocean because it's Assault. I understand that some people may think Nash is better here, but it is not. I can't slow him. Stan will probably secure it. I think we can do Inhi. We don't really need five people on the Drake because we already pushed them off and we made sure they can't enter. So now the rest of us can kind of just push mid lane. With Ocean, so I. Probably can never die again in this game. Stun, stun. Proc phase rush run. Flash. Stun again. Gone Poppy. Because I have um, Darius stacks. Right there I went on Poppy because Darius had uh, his uh, bleeding on me. So I don't really want to get procced. Like I don't want him to proc the bleeding on me. But yeah. Malphite ult. Go from around. Don't go straight. So she can't ult you. Yeah, well, she's just dead anyway. She's like, she could have QD'd me, right? So I go around. I can catch no matter what. Oh. Okay, okay. 80% slow is too much, okay? 80% slow is too much. <laughs> I cannot chase this guy. <laughs> maybe with Blue Smite, maybe. Or if I have Force of Nature. Probably doesn't help, though. With Swifties. Well, GG. That was the other game. Very simple, right? 309. I didn't really have 20 kills. You know, I didn't really do that much when it comes to, you know, killing everyone. I probably didn't even have that high damage done, but that's not really your job as an Udyr. You get ahead in levels, you bear slap people, you control objectives, you have good ganks early. There's a lot of things to why the champion is viable. It's just not the part of him doing a lot of damage, right? Because 
If you expect Udyr to do a lot of damage, then probably you are not, you know, that's not the champion for that, right? Like, Udyr is not a champion, so this is my damage in this game, 10,000, more than Kha'Zix, not bad. But Udyr is not a champion that will literally run into 5 people and kill everyone, unless, you, again, you go Trinity Force and you go, like, full damage build. You can go Trinity and still tanky with, like, Trinity Sterak, but I do like this build, and this build is the build popular, uh, you know, in pro play, so... I hope I explained it well, and I hope you learned something. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you will also leave a thumbs up and a comment below the video. If you want to see another champion being played, make sure I know. So thank you very much. Have a great day and peace.